Hi, I'm Mary Poppin with Imagineer Systems and Boris FX, and today we're going to show you how to use the Mocha Pro 5 plugin inside of Avid, Premiere, and Adobe After Effects. The first shot we're going to show you is a handheld shot that we're going to convert to a lockdown shot. And we're going to show you how to do that using the Mocha Pro plugin to stabilize your shot right on your timeline. Now, we're going to open up in Avid. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects panel. Inside of our effects panel, we're going to go to Mocha by Imagineer Systems, select Mocha Pro, and drag it and drop it right onto our timeline. From here inside of Avid, we want to launch our effect mode, and we can launch Mocha Pro. When we launch Mocha Pro, we'll get a warning that says this host is not set to full resolution. Tracking at reduced resolution can be faster but it's less accurate. And the reason that this warning pops up is because Mocha is actually reading your footage right off of your timeline. So if your footage is actually quite degraded because the resolution is proxy resolution, you want to move to full res before you track. So we're going to hit cancel. We're going to go down here to our green dot and turn it to full resolution. I'm going to just scrub through this really quick and show you what our shot looks like. You can see it's quite unstabilized. We want to lock this shot down. So again, we're going to come back to our effects panel and we're going to launch Mocha Pro. Once this is full size, we simply select our Create XBlind tool and we're going to track the background. Now I'm going to make an Add to XBlind shape as well and we're going to track this part of the background as well. I do this so I can track the background without tracking the actor in the middle, but I want to get a rock solid track on the entire ground and sometimes the best way to do that is to sample from more than one place to get a really good idea of what the ground plane is doing. I can turn my surface tool on and my grid and I can align this to the ground and what this will do is this will show me my track and whether or not my track is accurate. Once I've aligned my surface and grid tool, I simply go to my track tab we're going to track translation, scale, rotation, shear, and perspective, and we're going to go ahead and hit track forward. Notice how even though this footage is blurry from the camera and the lens blur, we still get a rock solid track. This sets Mocha apart from all other point and feature trackers because we can track things that other pieces of software can't follow. Once our track is complete, we can check to make sure it's rock solid, and then we simply go to our Stabilize tab. Inside of our Stabilize tab, we can stabilize all motion with maximum smoothing, and it'll lock our shot down for us. Now that looks a little weird though. And it looks a little weird because what I'm doing is I'm stabilizing the floor, and that means it's warping everything else in the shot that isn't that plane. So what we're going to do is instead of stabilizing all motion, we're going to stabilize X and Y translation with maximum smoothing. And that will take a lot of our bump out, but it won't take everything. So to lock this shot down, we want to do rotation and zoom as well but not shear or perspective. Now when we hit play, we'll be locked down. Now I can go to my borders, I can hit center, zoom, and apply the crop, and my shot is locked down. From here I simply save and close Mocha, and inside of my Mocha Pro effect, I can go to my module renders, check rendering on, and instead of insert composite, we're going to do stabilize. Now my Stabilize renders right to my timeline. For our second shot, we're going to show you how to smooth a shot instead of locking it down, like taking this handheld camera and making it more like a pan. This technique works the exact same inside of Premiere. We're going to go into our Effects panel. We're going to search for Mocha Pro and drag and drop our effect right onto our clip. Inside of our Effects controls, we can simply launch Mocha Pro. Once it's launched, we can track. In this case, we're actually going to track the ground. So I'm going to track this section of the ground, and I'm going to track this section of the ground. And again, the reason I make two shapes is because I want to avoid the actor, but track the entire ground. And now we can link to track, and we're going to actually unlink this from the ground track. So if we call this ground track, you can see that ground track is linked to none instead of ground track. That means that it will read everything that goes underneath this like a scanner. Again, I can take my surface and grid tool, turn them on, align them to the ground, give myself a, a healthy idea of what this geometry is going to look like, 
and we can go ahead and track this backwards. We're going to track translation, scale, rotation, shear, and perspective. Notice how our shapes are staying in the same place, but our track is moving where it's supposed to move to. Now, we don't actually want to take all of the movement out of this shot because this is actually shot from the back of a truck or a dolly. I'm pretty sure it's shot from the back of a truck because of how bouncy it is. So I actually just want to take out the bounce and make this look like it was shot on a smooth crane instead of having it bounce all over the place in an irregular way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Stabilize tab and inside of Stabilize, now instead of stabilizing all motion, we're going to stabilize X and Y only. And instead of maximum smoothing, we're going to take this number down to 6 or so. Now when we hit play, our shot is smoothed out, but not locked down. If we want to crop it, we can simply go to Borders, Center Zoom, apply the crop, and here's our new shot. But I don't just have to track planes. I can also, I can also track objects stabilized based on them. So in this case, we're just going to track translation on his head and follow it through the shot. Back in Stabilize, I can simply stabilize X and Y translation, turn our overlays off, and watch what happens. Now we're focusing on him in the middle of the screen. And it changes the look, and again we can center zoom and apply the crop. So it just depends on the look you're going for. If you want to apply your tracking data, you can simply make sure your ground track gear is on, save and close, and you can simply go to Mocha Pro, turn your module renders on, check render, and stabilize. And now your shot is stabilized inside of your Premiere timeline. For our third shot, we're going to show you how Mocha can help rebuild your edges, which can be lost during any stabilized procedure. Mocha Pro's Autofill tool can help you rebuild edges when you stabilize. This tool uses the same technology available in Mocha Pro's Remove module. We're going to drag Mocha Pro right onto our timeline, launch Mocha Pro, and we're going to track from the back to the foreground because the background is actually sharpest here and blurriest here even though it's larger in frame. We'll turn our thumbnails off and we'll make nice big large shapes right around our back. We're going to call this BG and we're going to track translation, scale, rotation, shear, and perspective. Track this backwards. This works just like everything else inside of Mocha. We're tracking planar data. Once we've tracked this planar data, instead of doing center zoom and apply crop, what we're going to do is we're going to use this data. But first, I need to make sure that I don't track my guy in with my background. And I can do this in one of two ways. I can either alter my shape like I just did, or I can draw a holdout mat around my guy and track that while I track the rest of my shot. We're going to adjust our shape again, and now we have our shape all around our guy. Now when I go to stabilize, I can stabilize all motion and maximum smoothing. And we lose a lot of our frame. But I don't want to lose that much of my frame. I want to keep as much as possible. So let's go to autofill and let's model our illumination which will match our new background we're creating to our plate as the lighting changes. And now if I hit render you can see that Mocha will do its best to infill the background based on my shapes. And I don't have to just let Mocha render it. I can actually save and close it and now if I go into my module renders, render, stabilize, and I play my file after Effects will render my stabilize for me, and I get to keep my edges. And that's how you use Mocha Pro 5, the plugin, inside of Avid, Premiere, and After Effects to achieve really excellent stabilizations that no other software can really handle. That's the power of planar tracking. If you have any questions, visit us at www.imagineersystems.com.